Right now at 7 on KIKU, Governor-elect Josh Green will be officially sworn into office today as Hawaii's next governor. We speak to him live ahead of his inauguration. We are tracking some showers that could bring some soggy conditions to portions of the state. And we're continuing to track the speed and path of the magma flow from Mauna Loa. The precautions in place for if and when the lava reaches Daniel K. Inouye Highway. It's Monday, December 5th. Good Morning Hawaii starts right now. Good Morning Hawaii with Leah Kamana, ADD, and Danielle Tucker. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Aloha and good morning, Hawaii. 7 a.m. on Monday, December 5th. I'm Leah Kamana, and we want to make sure you are ready to get your Monday started. So we're going to take a look at weather with Davy D. Davy, could be a wet one for some of us today. Yeah, definitely. Not on the eastern half of the state. Look how gorgeous it looks over on Hawaii Island right now. Uh, taking a live look at Moku Aveoville Caldera, you can see the sun shine up. Some high clouds making that sunrise very spectacular. Here in Honolulu, cloudier conditions. We're expecting uh, partly to uh, partly cloudy conditions overall across the state, but we're watching a developing storm as we get you the four things you need to know before you head out the door. Could bring some spotty, heavy rainfall tonight uh, as far as Oahu. Thunderstorms possible for Kauai this afternoon and humid conditions as our winds start to shift to more southerlies. Now that Konolo here to the northwest of the island is going to push south, bring some of these showers and this associated band pushing again those showers in towards the island. So overall, we'll call it partly cloudy skies, scattered showers, again, chance of heavy rainfall possible with some thunderstorms for Kauai this afternoon. So you got to grab that umbrella uh, for Oahu. Grab Grab the jacket, maybe leave the umbrella in the car for Kauai because of the thunderstorms. 82 degrees are expected high across the islands. And again, we may feel a little bit warmer than that because of those winds coming up from the south. That's what's bringing up the warm air and pulling up the uh, uh, deep tropical moisture for today. Now, by 11 o'clock, showers for Honolulu. That's what we're forecasting. Sunshine and clouds for the rest of the state. And then by the midday into the afternoon, showers for Kahului and We'll even put it in for Kauai as well. All right, that's a quick check on our island weather. Let's find out what's happening with our island traffic. Here's KITV4's Danielle Tucker. Thank you very much, Davey D. And we're going to take a look at the wall that's in front of me. I keep my eyes on this all the time. And on the very far left of your screen, right next to the television, you can see there's a little bit more traffic. Let me narrow that in for you. Kalaniano Ole Highway. It's a little congested from Kulio'o, trying to get a little bit further in as you're approaching. But as you get into New Valley, it's looking good. No accidents to report through there. In Kaimuki, slows in Kaimuki, just after the Cocoa Head Avenue overpass, it'll tighten up. On the west side, we still have the traffic in Waikele, not so much before Kunia. And traffic crossing the Ko'olau is still fairly light as you're coming down the Pali, as well as the Like Like, looking pretty good all the way down to Kalihi. But heavy traffic right there before that light. From the city and county of Honolulu's Traffic Management Center, I'm Danielle Tucker. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii, KITV4, and back to KITV4's Leah Kamana. Danielle, thank you. Time now, 7.03. Happening today, Governor-elect Josh Green will be sworn into office at a ceremony open to the public. KIT4's Chloe Markley live at the Blazell Arena with more details about today's inauguration. Chloe, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Leah. Well, in just a few short hours, Josh Green will be coming here to the Blaisdell and being named the ninth governor of Hawaii. And joining me now is one of the organizers of the ceremony, Vicki. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Aloha, everybody. Yeah, so talk to me about the theme of today. Huliao 2022 means new beginnings. It's what happens after a volcanic eruption, which just happened. And the new sprouts that come up is the kupu kupu, often will sprout up after a, an, a, a volcanic eruption and the lava flows and it germinates new seeds. So we thought, we had thought about this a long time ago, you know, when we first knew that he was going to be elected. We thought this is a chance for us to start some new collaborations, some new beginnings. And today's night is Hua. The moon phase is Hua, which means fruitful. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be able to start new beginnings, new collaborations, some germination of new ideas. 
I love that. Now talk to me about the significance of today. Today, the first Monday of December, according to our st state constitution, is the day that the governor gets uh, inaugurated. So the official ceremony, the swearing in, happens at 12 noon sharp. So everybody come on down to the Neil Blaisdell Arena for the inauguration of our new governor, Josh Green. And before the community does come out here, what are some things they need to know? Yeah, so no signs. Don't bring any signs in. They're not going to be allowed with that. There'll be a little bag check at the front entrance. But, you know, parking, we're going to have to find parking. I hope everybody comes down and joins us. Mm -hmm. And no food is permitted inside? No food permitted inside. You know, be be respectful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Vicki. And if you can't come today to the ceremony in person, you can catch it online on the live streaming. For now, reporting live, Chloe Markley, KITV4 Island News.